But moving on to our third cruise. Oh, my goodness. You see, I really fancied number two. But number three, this is Crystal Symphony. This is six star. Brazil, Argentina. It's going to be absolutely out of this world. I'm so excited about this. I know Sean went on board, and I think he's going to talk us around the ship, first of all. Crystal Cruises have the most opulent staterooms afloat. The style is modern classic with the most beautiful decor, and all of the rooms have the very latest amenities. One of my favourite places to visit has to be the Crystal Spa. It's award-winning, repeatedly voted the world's best, and the only Feng Shui-inspired spa that I've ever experienced on the waves. Well, Crystal Cruises have been the undisputed leader in luxury travel now for almost two decades, and it's certainly reflected in their service, especially here, taking afternoon tea in the amazing Palm Court. Crystal Cruises offer an outstanding and diverse selection of bars and restaurants on their ships. And better still, they now have an all-inclusive drinks policy and open bar service. Now this is Silk Road, created by world famous Chef Nobu and his only seagoing venture in his global empire. Now the menus feature Chef Nobu's unique styling and blending of South American ingredients with Japanese dishes. In front of me, you've probably noticed, there is a separate sushi bar with items selected by Chef Nobu and prepared by one of his very skillfully trained chefs. This is the Galaxy Show Lounge, which offers breathtaking Broadway-style productions. The performers have trained at the best schools, performed on the best stages, and are now bringing you the best performances at sea. And the costumes, they're spectacular and really lavish. Absolutely mm. incredible, absolute luxury, all-inclusive, six star, and, which you know, is amazing. I was chatting to people yesterday down at Olympia at the Destination Show, people that book, you know, book with us, and um, they, they, they tried lots of companies, and then they, they went with Crystal, and uh, since they've been going with Crystal, they won't go anywhere else. They love it. It's such a massive step up to this six star, uh, and all the ships are designed alone on Feng Shui, the principles of Feng Shui. That's how, how much detail they go into. It's incredible. And apparently, the, the, the buffets they have at lunch, the deck buffets are just amazing. Just an amazing. absolute dream yeah. and deluxe ocean view as well. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Mm. This is my number one. So, so where are we starting? Where do we fly to? OK, so you're flying out to Rio de Janeiro. OK, <gasps> wow. um, we've got two nights stay in a hotel there. And this is amazing because we know Rio, we know the football. We've got the Olympics coming up as well with Rio. Yes. Known as the marvellous city, miles and miles of beaches. You know, Look you've got at Copacabana, that. you've got Ipanema and the famous girl that comes from there. You can see Sugarloaf Mountain, which is an iconic image of this part of the world. And um, great chance for you to just uh, go up and see. Here we go. The wonderful statue yes. um, you can actually do a lot of skydiving around the mountains there and it's great to go and do skydiving I recommend it particularly if you don't mind heights um, the whole place the Tijuca National Park the forest is, is literally uh, this huge forest that kind of stretches around the city and it's the world's largest urban forest covers 8,000 acres and it's full of beautiful plants and wildlife you've got the wonderful friendly people you've seen the Christ the Redeemer uh, statue there on Covacado Mountain which is the highest peak uh, you can go oh, and put up a chair in a churrasquia which is their famous um, restaurant where they bring you loads and loads of different meats and they keep right. on bringing them until you say, oh, I'm full up, which for me took about three days. Um, <laughs> and uh, you can try the Capilajina, which is one of their famous cocktails. It's a great party city um, and a great chance for you to go to Capilera there as well, which was uh, developed out in Salvador uh, when, they were, when a lot of people there were slaves. Uh, and it's their kind of, it's like a form of dance, but it was right. also a martial arts. It's incredible to see performances of that. Um, but it really is an outdoor city where people live out in the sun, they get involved in the water, they get involved in the restaurant life and you'll be able to soak all that up maybe go and see some football uh, go and see you know the country which made Pele the star uh, that we all know he was what a great start so we've got a two night stay here yeah. in a hotel before you even get on board I that's know. amazing then you're on board the six star ship and you've got ten nights cruising um, and your first port of call is known as the big island Ila Grande um, and it's a national treasure this um, it's virtually untouched by humans it's a very rare port of call oh, it's one of the last protected remnants of it's the like Atlantic rainforest it really is it's incredible um, and 
and there were no roads, there were no cars, and you've got 16 jungle trails which you can hike through along pristine waterfalls and up majestic mountain peaks. It is stunning. Um, then we're going through to Ilabela in Brazil, and this is um, 127 miles from Sao Paulo and about 210 miles from Rio de Janeiro. Again, it's a completely untouched uh, archipelago. It's dense jungle, volcanic peaks, gorgeous beaches, and nearly 400 waterfalls on this island. It's incredible. 85% of it is protected. That's so amazing. It's incredible. It's a huge national park. Then you're going from here to Sao Paulo, the second largest city on, on the coast along here. Um, Santos is where you're stopping. It's a commercial powerhouse. Uh, main thing that exports here is coffee, and you must try some local coffee. There's, you go to the local football club, which gave birth to Pele. We already mentioned him as well. Uh, or you can go along and enjoy the largest beachfront garden in the world, according to the Guinness Book of Records, with a bike path that goes through three and a half miles of the garden. It's incredible. It's to walk through. This looks incredible. Then we're going to. Uh, it's Jack in Brazil um, and it's in a great chance they were set up by the Portuguese and the Germans uh, there's a great sense of colonialism there and again great chances to relax on beaches and moving on we're actually in Day at Sea before we go to Uruguay overnight here in Punta del Este this is the Saint Tropez of South America um, it's an incredible chance for you to go and see modern art and sculptures and these really quirky almost Gaudi like buildings oh, wow. and architecture um, and you've got uh, it, it's a real it's a real kind of uh, celebrity haunts so you will spot people out there on the Days, full of fashionable cafes and shops that line the streets. Uh, great chance to be entertained by street music and entertainers as well. Okay, then we're going through um, from there to Monte de Vedo. This is nestled in between Brazil and Argentina. It's Uruguay, the second smallest country in South America, one of the most literate nations in the world. And this, this place is full of European charm with broad boulevards, fountains, stately squares, irresistible uh, cafes that you can relax in and have a coffee. The nation's countryside is full of farmyand, farmland. It's all about the cowboys. You can go out and see an Estancia, uh, have a gaucho barbecue, see their famed horsemanship, a bit of yeehaw. You'd like that, Haley, <laughs> the old lasso. Uh, and then also try the port market. I recommend that to go and get your lunch because it's full of uh, vendors grilling tantalizing meats. Uh, really, really lovely. Okay, then we're going out from here. Wow, this just gets even better. What an itinerary. Buenos Aires. Oh, oh gosh. Um, you're disembarking here for another two nights stay. This is all included. It's what Planet Cruise do so well, bespoke cruise holidays. That's why we're number one in the industry for this. Founded in the early 16th century, Buenos Aires roughly translates as fresh air. Uh, it's known as the Paris of the South, and it basically gave given birth out of the cattle boom of the 1880s. Uh, architecture, acres of woods and parks, fabulous grilled meats, and these heavy, hearty Argentine red wines. Um, head out to the, the birthplace of the Tango, La Boca district, uh, which was originally settled uh, by the Italian immigrants, and now it's full of these houses in bright reds and uh, yellows and blues and greens. Head to the lively Camino, uh, where you get uh, the wonderful markets and the craftsmen there, and maybe get a live performance. They, they just suddenly will spark up doing a tango in front of you and there'll be a bloke with an accordion on the side there Wonderful. running away it's incredible and of course go to the Recoleta cemetery uh, where you see don't cry for me Argentina Eva Peron and her, her, her tomb there is just incredible I, I was nearly there with that singing that was I know I, I'm, I, I have been headhunted a couple of times to play the role in the West End <laughs> I mean um, this is absolutely out of this world a real once in a lifetime the 1st of January 2016 you can really look forward to this have a look what's included and it is a deposit only that you need at the moment. This is this is a yes from me. Well, absolutely a yes from me. I know. I mean, I, I, honestly, you need to start working on your on your man, Haley, and get him to take you out because uh, it would be something you would never forget. Look at that, an incredible oh. opportunity. Fifteen nights with six star brand, everything included in that. Um, a great service. You ask, whatever stays. you ask for, they bring it to you. Oh, it just sounds like heaven. It's an all-inclusive deal as well, and um, all-inclusive in a different way, in a six-star way. Can I just say, they've spent 65 million on this ship alone in the last five years. No. 65 million. That's, that, that's just in keeping it up to standard, their standard, which is incredibly high. Fine wines, premium spirit, champagne. Oh, <laughs> and yeah, see, see Levi Matsushiri, oh, the sushi bar. He's one of the most, uh, one of the famous chefs in the world. And and his Silk Road, his restaurant on board, it wins award after award after award. Wound, absolutely incredible. Remember, you, you do need your code for that, and just jot down. It is eight six zero one two eight six zero one two.